Hey friends, welcome to day 10 of virtual learning uh, for algebra. We are starting to dive into quadratics today. Um, we're going to be working on uh, the con video and a couple practices. Really, you can get everything you need there, but I want to just go over a couple of these things with you. Um, before you do that in this video about parabolas, I want to look at the look at this shirt. It's going to be backwards because of that, but see what T-Rex trying to do? You get Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. He's trying to divide by zero. There's a whole thing of memes that T-Rex can't. That's why it's funny. Okay, anyway. So, um, I'm going to go over some characteristics of quadratics with you for this. And then, uh, you know, do the Khan Academy questions as many times as you need to, to pass them. Uh, but I think I think if you uh, watch this video, watch the Khan video, you're going to be in good shape. Make sure you hit me at those office hours. They'll be next week now, next uh, Wednesday, 3.30. You can email me whenever you need, and uh, make sure if you do something after I've put in grades, so you, you just hit me with an email and let me know you've done it so I can go check that. So, hope you've all been well. Let's get after it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at uh, are zeros. So, uh, zeros in a parabola are the same thing as the x-intercepts. So, let's say a parabola, it looks like this, and... It's not gonna be perfect, okay? But these would be the zeros. This this point and this point would be the zeros. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So negative five and x being two. Those would be what we would call zeros. The parabola can uh, have two zeros like that. Another option would be for our parabola to have a single zero. Could do something like this. Okay? And then in this case our zero would be three. Or it could actually have no zeros. Um, and that would look something like this. Let's say it didn't cross it didn't cross an x-axis. So uh, another thing I want to point out with quadratics, all the graphs, it's it's Soldier Boy's favorite function. Uh, because all the graphs are you get it? Soldier Boy. Anyway. So those are zeros. There's either gonna be two, one, or none. Next, let's check out the vertex. So in any parabola, I'm going to draw two parabolas on the same graph. Let's say we got this one, and let's say we got this. No, that's not the one. Let's say we got this one. Okay. The vertex is the point that's the highest or the lowest in the parabola. Okay? That is the vertex. Uh, the vertex can either, and we're going to jump down to this one just because I feel like it. It can either be the maximum. See, it's at the highest point of that function or it can be the minimum. See, it's the lowest point of that function. So the vertex is always going to either be the highest or the lowest. And if you wanted to think about that domain and range stuff we did before, the range of this one would be y has to be less than or equal to whatever this is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or so. Okay, and this one, y would have to be greater than or equal to 3. So if you want to, if you remember that domain and range stuff, so that kind of shows us the max and the maximum and the minimum of ours through the vertex. The vertex is that very center spot, maximum or minimum. So let's use that to do the axis of symmetry. So if I have a parabola, and this is maybe the nicest, easiest one, it goes through zero, zero, the origin. The axis of symmetry is going to be this line that splits my parabola in half. So in this case, the axis of symmetry would be x equals zero. It's an imaginary line that goes right through the vertex, and it splits it in half. So like, if I knew this point right here is negative 2, 1, this point right here should be on at 2, 1. So any two points that have the same range need to be equidistant from the axis of symmetry. And you can also do some cool stuff like, depending on the information you know, like let's check this out. Let's say we know a parabola has a y-intercept of negative 2, two three, four, and, or x-intercept of negative 2 in there. And uh, here's a parabola. And you could, you could figure out what the axis of symmetry is if you know these two x-values because they have the same range. This one has an x-value of 4. This one has negative 2. And halfway between there is 1. So the axis of symmetry would actually have to be x equals 1. It has to split those. 
It's right down the middle, okay? And that could be of a parabola that's facing either way. And that's going to take us to that positive or negative that I have on there next on the list, okay? This is like the ESPN ticker. This is what's coming next. Positive versus negative. So um, another thing that you'll see for positive is uh, up. They open up like this. You can kind of see like if you were to pour some milk or water or something into it, it'd fill it up. That's positive. Negatives are going to open down. So negative parabolas are going to look like this if you, you couldn't pour something into it. It's kind of how to think of it. So um, you'll probably see in the cons up or down, but the positives are going to open up. Negatives are going to open down. doesn't matter where it's at on the whole graph. And that's the crash course in quadratics, guys, uh, just in some characteristics. I continue to hope you're all doing really well. Uh, I'll let you know I'm doing pretty well. My family's uh, hanging in there pretty well, and I just look forward to uh, when I get to see you all next. Again, um, make sure you hit me with those emails and whatever you need, I got you, all right? Be good.